I recently got a call from a customer that was looking for an easy and simple way to audition global transpositions within an, an existing project. They didn't want to have to select audio events, go to the audio menu, to processes, to pitch shift and transpose that way. They didn't want to have to select all of the MIDI events and go to transpose setup nor did they want to have to adjust the transpositions from the info line. So I suggested they consider using the transpose track. So what the transpose track can do is globally transpose your project. To add a transpose track, right click in the track areas, select add track and go to transpose. To add values in a transposition track, select the pencil tool and click where you want the transpositions to start. We'll see a value initially of zero. I can come over here and colorize the transpose track to my liking. So let's say I listen to my particular project and here I'm gonna have acoustic guitars, vocals, we'll have groove agent MIDI drums going on in the project. So if I wanted to transpose, coming up here, I'm going to click with the pencil tool and I'll say, let's go to minus two and hit enter. All right, so now all the instruments have transposed, but also the MIDI notes that were triggering the drum samples have transposed. And that may not be what I want to do. So what I could do is select the MIDI events and we could go to the global transpose setup in the info line and i'm going to choose for this to be independent and i could also do this for my drum loops if i didn't want the drum loops to transpose as well so i wanted those to maintain the pitch so again we go to the global transpose and choose independent so now we'll come over here and let's just add a transposition so as we go to audition our different transpositions, our drums will maintain the same pitch, the MIDI drums will play the same notes, and will not follow the transpositions. So now we're gonna go down to minus two semitones. So as you can see, using the transpose track can really speed up your workflow in auditioning global transpositions. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.